Hello, Division 4. Okay, so as we enter our last portion, the part of the uh, unit on founding peoples of Canada, of course, we find the English or the British in Canada. So it says, if you take some coins out of your pocket and spread them on the desk, what images do you see? Canadian coins are decorated with pictures of different animals. There's an elk, which of course is on our 25 cents. Uh, the beaver, which of course is on our nickel. Um, and a polar bear, which is on the $2 coin, which we, of course, we call ourselves a toonie. And on the reverse side of all these coins, you have the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. Of course, um, on the dime, we have um, the, a schooner, or the Blue Nose, um, which is a schooner, which is a big boat, um, sailboat. It has significance in Canadian history. And, of course, the last is the penny, which we don't see anymore, had some um, maple leaves, of course, and you can't get those anymore. They've stopped making them. So if you can get your hands on some um, of them, you're, you have a collector's item of Canadian coins. Um, of course, and the other one was the loony, which is um, the $1 coin. And we know it's called the loony, a little bit of trivia. Of course, it's called the loony because it has a loon on it. Um, when they first came out, many of people were not happy with having the coins from the dollar bills because we used to have the green yellow dollar bill or the green dollar bills. Of course, if you've seen those two, those are rare. But um, to change from paper money to coins um, in the long run made more sense because the longevity of paper is quite short because if people believe in their pockets when it goes to the wash and things like that where coins will last a long time and it was costing more money to make money instead of having the coins where of course it costs a little bit more to make it in the first place but they'll last that much longer and so when they came out yes they had a loon on it but a lot of people didn't like it and they felt that it was loony to have it and that's where that name stuck of course in the toony is just a rhyming worry of two and has nothing to do with um, anything to do with cartoons or tunes as in music. It's just the fact that it rhymes with loony and there's two of them, uh, two dollars meaning toony, and that's the, um, the history of that. So have you ever wondered why the image of the Queen is so common in Canada? She is also pictured on all of our paper money, not all of it, um, because some of them we have some men on it and some of them there's the twenty dollar bill here um, of other prime ministers of the past. Um, her portrait hangs in many public buildings. Uh, if you go into the office of our school, you'll see the queen. Um, and there's probably a picture of the, uh, there you go, it's hanging in your school and right in our front office. And you can see by Mrs. Peckinpah there. Uh, queen Elizabeth II is the queen of England. And she's also the queen of Canada. Now you think, whoa, we have a queen. Well, she's, um, as we talked about government way back in September, October, um, she's, it's just more of a, of a person in, um, in a position, not real whole lot of power um, in Canada. There's a little bit of influence, but of course our power is our democratic society of having elections and our prime ministers. And we talked all about that in our first term. Um, this means that Canada is a monarchy. Look at all this, all this connection coming back to what we did government. In the old days, a monarch, a king or queen, has absolute power. Um, this ringing a bell, I hope, we talked quite a bit about this in all the videos we saw. Remember when we did our government video, or our government unit? And there was so much that we talked about. Absolute power, which means they can do whatever you want. Um, if you remember our little role playing, um, some of like where I was the dictator or the person in charge, and I had many of you on my side, and I had you on my payroll, and you'd do anything for me, while some of the other people just had to take whatever I gave them, right? And that's a society that luckily we don't live in, uh, but it was we did that little bit of a fun uh, role playing in the classroom. Uh, today, of course, the role of the monarch is mainly ceremonial, okay? Which just means, you know, she might come to fancy um, openings, cutting ribbons, waving, um, coming for special events. Um, and it's for the sake of tradition, right? Just because we came, like, we're talking about the, the Aboriginal um, sector come, who lived here for first, and then the French came, and now the British, and to kind of bring their culture, as France did with, with New France, to Canada, the British wanted to bring part of their heritage or culture to Canada, and so that, of course, that's the Queen. Um, of course, we know that government is carried on by elected parliaments, not by monarchs, and we know that very well. Um, still, the Queen is an important person in our system and um, government. All the laws are passed in her name, so in the sense when they say, oh, you know, this law is passed, they recognize that the Queen is okay with it. She has her own representative in Canada called the Governor General. 
and we've actually done some talk about that. And last year we did a whole article on her, um, which is a pretty big deal to be a governor general. You're like the, the in-between, you know, you go and visit the queen, you bring information to Canada, um, Canada back and forth. It's kind of a neat job. It's a very prestigious job and you would um, get to travel a lot and you get to um, witness many, many things. The governor general carries out many duties on behalf of the queen, right? So the queen says to do something, the governor general will do it for her in on behalf of her. So she didn't have to do it, like come and visit her, for example. Uh, the monarchy is one sign of how important British traditions are in Canada. So it's just one sign. Of course, and over here it says Queen Elizabeth II has uh, reigned since 1952. So she's she's older. And so we've got um, 56, well, 60, or close to 60 years. Uh, 70 years, wow, okay. Uh, when she dies or steps aside, her eldest son, Charles, Prince Charles, you probably know, uh, his sons, uh, he was married to Prince Diana, who unfortunately was um, killed in a car crash. But their two sons um, are always in the news. Of course, one married um, Kate and the other one married uh, Meghan Markle. And that one more in the news because they, they stepped away from the royal family. And you've, if you've been into that Hollywood thing where she used to be an actress and now they live in L.A. and they don't want to be under the royals. It's quite interesting because, you know, to, to be in the limelight of, you know, royalty and then to say, no, I don't want to do that. Um, both Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles have made several visits to Canada. And of course, this is a little bit out of date. Um, they've made many, many visits to Canada. Um, the Queen's image on uh, the stamp, coins, and so on the symbol of the monarchy of Canada. So you've seen her through, um, when you get a chance, Google her, and you'll see um, when she was young, she actually, on her money, when it was in the 60s and 70s, look at, try and pull up coins of that era, and you'll see that the coins, the pictures of her reflect on her age, and she actually is quite young. And lately, if you get a, a coin that's issued in the last you know five years, you'll see that she's aged, and they've also done that to her on the coin when they stamp. Um, a little bit of other uh, trivia, if you're ever interested, and I think I've mentioned this to you, if you ever want to see where our money is made, um, you go to Winnipeg, uh, Manitoba, and it's called the Mint, M-I-N-T. And once again, you could, you can um, Google that, and it's a place where you can actually see money being made. I went there once, and it's kind of neat because you actually see how they stamp the money and where it's made. Because these don't make as much as they can make. They there's a they only can make so much, and it's kind of neat because it comes out in sheets. And of course, if you've noticed our money in the last little while, it's become quite um, plastic. And I believe it's one of the first in the world because mostly we had paper money, right? And I'm saying that even the paper money was quite tough. It could mat, it could get wet. Well, now our money is uh, has microfilm in it and it's plastic and it's quite interesting. Once again, if you want to extend your learning and you want to um, learn a little bit more how special our money is, uh, Google that and um, you can share it with us through Kids Blog or different things like that. But until next time, see you later.